so hey guys i hope everybody is doing well and today we are going to see how to do basic compositing in silhouette 2020 here i have a footage and we are going to do some basic stuff over here don't judge me on this because this is a, just a basic tutorial and we are going to do some removal task of this wing here and we are going to add some uh, sky over this footage take the paint node we don't want this output node so delete that settings of the paint node because we are going to clone this uh, swing and we are going to remove this thing out of the shot so take the clone and let's clone this area okay let's clone i know it's rough we are not going to see the a or b for this shot now okay so let's clone this area it will take some time so i'm going to uh, forward this area yep now the clean plate or the removal is completely done i know it is rough and we are going to do some uh, fixes for this repetition so that it doesn't look weird okay so yep now almost the clean plate is done okay now we are going to take those strokes and uh, going to play played backward so that it is there uh, throughout the work range so remove this stuff again yep yep a little bit okay let's suppose this is the clean plate i'm going to uh, take the strokes into all the frames so click on the strokes here we have the strokes just click on this play button right over here okay so yep almost done all right so here now you can see like the swing is gone and we have a like a good footage now to do the comp so now let's do some basic compositing okay cool so yeah now first step is to like key out this area so that we can uh, add something in the bg or we can replace the sky for that we can take the z mat node inside this silhouette the z mat node is the uh, keying node in silhouette so yep now i will connect this stuff here as usual and taking the properties of this uh, z mat we can see a pull down menu like we can select what is the algorithm we can use for the extraction so i have chosen the luminance one and now you can see the alpha has been generated now we can tune in or play with this uh, settings or this properties and we can extract a decent mat using z mat so i'm adjusting the position right now okay so yep now let's add some black clip and all this stuff white clip black clip and white clip is really useful for extracting the mats yep it's done the mat is generated now we'll take a roto node yep so i'm going to mask out that uh, specific area and let's use a roto for that okay click on this stuff draw a shape over here mm -hmm. okay yep now let's click on this stuff and go into obey mat click and ch check the obey option yep now we have a decent mat here so that we can add anything in the background okay uh, now the next step is to replace the sky let's start that before that if you want to uh, like blur the mat a bit you can blur by using uh, okay not this one because you can blur the uh, mask using this one okay so if you want to blur the uh, mat of the trees and leaves uh, you can click on this properties of this mat and you can uh, give some blur over here yep this works so yeah now let's uh, jump into the sky replacement stuff replacement okay here we have the sky here and yep now straight ahead we will take a color correct node and let's combine this stuff uh, with the input so here we have the color correct inside the color so yep i'll connect this here okay i'll take a, a composite node from the composite menu and we have the math composite here let's let's connect this stuff here and let's connect this into this sky okay yep that's done and uh, now you can see the uh, result over here now we can use the blend properties uh, from this pull down menu we have subtract we have multiply and we have a screen we have difference we have darken 
which is pretty good and which is uh, we have also lighten okay so we'll go with darken because this looks pretty good and now let's click on this stuff i know some part of the image is cropped up so let's uh, play with the level and black clip first and let's match it further and then we'll proceed with the cropping issues so yep this is done right now you can see the difference over here like uh, if you select the properties of this uh, color correct you can edit further like the saturation and now you can combine here yep this looks decent now let's uh, select the color correct node and uh, let's do the uh, fixes for this transform issues i mean the cropping issues so let's take transform node and uh, let's connect it over here and let's move the transform up above here and let's match the sky okay so edit it i'll just keep it a little bit down so that i will get a lot of uh, clouds in my shot okay this looks awesome let's scale it up yep so yep the sky replacement is done and now you can see the difference here yep that's decent right now let's take the next part okay before that if you want to check something like uh, yep if you want to adjust it a bit further you can adjust it according to your need or uh, your creativity for the comp and uh, now let's do something for the mountains okay now let's take the mountain image you can see the resolution of the mountain image is way bigger than the original resolution so i'm just gonna use a reformat kind of node inside uh, silhouette so let's uh, okay let's remove this stuff and just click on this area okay here we have the nodes inside here here we could find inside the transform menu we have the resize node inside the settings you can just type in the resolution the default resolution okay so i'm just typing the resolution okay so uh it's not perfectly fit i don't know why what happened okay okay there is a typo in the resolution so i will just type in like 1920 yep now this is perfect right so um, let's take a color correct node from this color menu and let's take the color correct node and we have a lot of settings here just dull the saturation a bit so that uh, it will match the original input and let's do a, a filter operation like we have a lot of filters inside silhouette and this is the best one the detail node we can uh, separate the frequencies in an image like the detail medium uh, and uh, uh, the fine details also and also the shadows midtones highlight can be um, uh, tweaked according to the uh, settings and uh, now let's take a blur node and let's blur the input a little bit not this much let's keep it like uh, 1.5 yep or 2 this will work i guess yep now this is all all done and and now like uh, we will take a roto and let's uh, do a roto for uh, the mountain so let's take a roto node let's connect that and let's do a roto so let's do a one but this is a rough one i have already done a roto for that mountain so I'm just gonna connect that insert inside here confusions just keep it here delete this stuff yep now you can see we have a mountain roto here okay so i will adjust the mountain a bit okay just uh just same as the yeah that's done okay this will work i guess yep now i have uh, a roto the mountain now let's take a uh, now you can check the alpha is somewhere broken okay so let's click on this detail yep here an alpha is generated we don't want that alpha to be there so that uh, we can use roto to pre -melt that area so let's go into the uh, menu bar and let's find invert let's use the search option yeah invert <coughs> sorry yep okay so make sure you just inverting the alpha you are just inverting the alpha and you can cut down the alpha by doing like that now we have the perfect alpha for the short using the roto and let's uh, take an edge composite node 
to do some edge tweaking or uh, edge fix kind of uh, things like yeah let's connect that fix into edge, edge composite into the uh, roto and we have a lot of settings for the edge composite also um, now i'll just combine combine all this stuff and let later do that so let's take composite node um, the background into the sky and the foreground into the mountains yep it's composited right now okay now uh, we will tweak some edge uh, corrections like uh, you can uh, you can play with the settings like size and brightness a lot of settings is there okay yep you can play with that uh, you know i i messed this area a bit there is a blue tone overall i, I just want to take it into a kind of a cooler uh, tone for the mountains but uh, i messed up a little bit here <laughs> so i'll tweak this a little bit here this is more mm -hmm. okay kind of cyan oh no no <laughs> it's burned now <laughs> so okay so let's dull the saturation a bit let's play with this stuff but uh, you you know there is a blue <laughs> i just thought okay that uh, reflection or that uh, diffuse um, kind of effect in the edges but it's not happening with this edge composite you know you should play with that then you can find that effect but i i really messed that area so i'm just keep all the settings as default and uh, proceed with that you can adjust the blur a bit if you need but i'm just keeping it like zero only you guys can explore some time i mean explore the tool a bit uh, later when you do some work so i'm gonna blur the edges of the mountain using the roto alpha okay for that you can select the um, layer of the roto uh, and just give blur like three okay so yep uh, i will turn off turn off the overlay and i will show you how that blur is affecting you can see the difference here right so now we have combed the mountain into the shot now let's take a composite node copy that and paste here now let's view here this is our z mat uh, result and this is our paint result so let's organize and let's suppose this is our fg uh, i mean the ocean and all uh, so we are gonna uh, comp that into this composite node okay let's connect the background into this uh, composite node where, where we have the mountains and sky also foreground into this input now let's view the view the composite okay now we are not seeing any differences because uh, we have to do a pre-melt using a roto so let's go into the silhouette menu and take a roto node and yeah we have a roto node here let's connect the roto here yep okay so take a spline over here and let's roto okay overlay is off my roto is rough because i'm not uh, doing exactly on the edges so that uh, it should it will give a uh, complications uh, in the edges so yep now you can see the result here okay fine i will just give a blur to the edges so that it will blend nicely a blur of three let's turn off the overlay yep let's give a blur of five okay no let's give 2.5 this is fine yep so all set now we have uh, the comp result here we have added mountains and sky in the comp okay so we will do something like uh, we will just take the roto node and let's blend the mountains a bit by decreasing the opacity i don't i know i know this is not a straight ahead method uh, kind of a method like uh, faking the opacity so keep it as like 75 so that it will blend more into the shot now you can see that uh, gloomy effect uh, in the uh, mountains so it's kind of a glow effect kind of exponential glow okay let's play the footage and see how our comp looks like okay it's taking some time for the playback i know there are a lot of nodes heavy nodes okay cool so let's play and see how our comp is looking brilliant so 
uh, th- I know this is kind of a basic stuff like no camera movement and all but at least I'm giving you some knowledge like uh, you can use silhouettes for kind of a basic compositing task and also you can add grain to blend all the elements into one single stream grain here we have the grain node I'm adding into the composite result so you here we can see a grain so I will increase the size and there are a lot of settings for that right now I'm in increasing the size a bit um, I have to increase the grain or I mean amount of red green blue if you have an input to match you can match uh, after degraining the complete uh, composited result and adding grain later so here I want to thank Cathy Morris for guiding me throughout this comp exploration and I will link her description of the FX PhD course by Cathy Morris um, there are some amazing tutorials over there so do check that and so let's go through the comp again we have the painted result here we have the Z mat to key out those uh, leaves and branches I have masked that with a roto here we have the mount I mean the sky and I have used a math composite for uh, compositing that sky and uh, you have we have a lot of blending modes like uh, I have used darken here and we have the mountain we have um, the resize node and we have um, inverted the alpha here uh, also we have the color correct node to color correct the uh, element we have the detail node that is superb node and uh, we got a result after that we blurred this a bit and uh, you can increase the blur or decrease the blur yep this looks fine so yep then after that rotored and did some edge compositing or edge fixing kind of stuff and composited that over the sky and blended a bit and we have the uh, input here let's do a roto for the sky i mean the ocean and yep finally composited over uh, here using a composite node and added some grain to blend all the elements into one single stream so i hope this tutorial is useful or at least giving you some insights about silhouette compositing so do check all my social media for uh, yep a lot of knowledge and informations thank you guys subscribe to us watch more videos here